Unabridged History of Light. Well, is it a wave? Is it a particle? In 1704, Sir Isaac Newton published Optics, which described light as a group of tiny particles that he called corpuscles. As we will discuss, Newton was able to explain properties such as reflection, refraction, and dispersion with his particle model. However, certain properties of light, such as diffraction, the bending of light around objects, could only be explained by thinking of light as a wave. This theory is credited to Christian Huygens, with work done by Robert Hooke and Leonard Euler. In 1803, Thomas Young's double slit experiment definitively proved that light acted as a wave. Maxwell then published his four equations of electromagnetism where he treated light as a wave. And then came relativity and quantum mechanics. The first dispute with the wave nature of light came in 1900 with Max Planck's explanation of black body radiation where it appeared that light was emitted only in quantized bits of energy, like a particle. In 1905, Albert Einstein published a paper on the photoelectric effect, for which he later earned his Nobel Prize. That paper confirmed that light came in discrete packets of energy. These packets of light energy were named photons by Gilbert Lewis in 1926. So, Light was initially explained as a particle by Newton, and then, later in classical physics by Huygens and others, as a wave, and then the new field of quantum mechanics brought it back again as a particle. The final word for now came with the correct use of relativity in quantum theory that deals with the interaction of electrons and photons. This branch of physics is called quantum electrodynamics. In 1965, Sinitiro Tomonaga, Julian Schwinger, and Richard Feynman received the Nobel Prize for this work. Here are Feynman's words on light from his book QED, The Strange Theory of Light Matter. He said, I want to emphasize that light comes in this form, particles. It is very important to know that light behaves like particles, especially for those of you who have gone to school where you were probably told something about light behaving like waves. I'm telling you the way it does behave, like particles. You should now have a feel for how light has been the subject of much experimentation, theorization, and dispute. Even now people talk about the wave-particle duality of light. And as you go on in physics, you will see a similar behavior of elementary particles such as electrons. We'll explore all of that in the unit on quantum physics and atomic models. For the time being, a good way for you to think about this is that the actual world we observe with our senses and instruments is way more complex and it is difficult for us to explain what is really going on. But for now, we'll start with Newton and his corpuscle theory of light and see how it explains refraction and reflection of light.